Recently, a grain deal has been reached by Ukraine and Russia through the mediation of Turkey and UN, and the transfer of grain has been started. What do you expect from the future, for the future, and will it be sustainable? Questions, as you also mentioned, the agreement uh, was signed in Istanbul, and thanks to the leadership of my president, Recep Tayyip Erdogan, and also Secretary General uh, Guterres, uh, it happened. They were also present at this uh, signing uh, ceremony, and it covers Odessa, Yuzhny, and Chernomox uh, ports. And the passage of ships will be monitored uh, remotely uh, and inspection on uh, board. And the first, uh, after uh, the uh, uh, establishment of the Joint Coordination Center in Istanbul, uh, the first vessel reached uh, uh, in Istanbul sailed from uh, Odessa, Odessa port. And uh, it carries uh, corn to Lebanon. And after the joint inspection uh, uh, near to Istanbul, it uh, continues sailing uh, towards uh, uh, Lebanon. So it was the first vessel. It, good question, good point that it has to be sustainable one. And this duration of this agreement is four months. So the extension will be automatic if no objections after uh, three months or four months when, uh, this, uh, when, uh, before the end of the duration of the current agreement. And in return, uh, Russia uh, will be also able to export its own uh, grain and related products as well as uh, fertilizers. And this was also part of the agreement uh, in advance. And the entire world needs the goods of, of both countries. So it has to be a sustainable one. And everybody uh, must act responsibly and stand by their commitments to continue this uh, flow. And I have to tell you that the situation is uh, fragile uh, because the war in Ukraine continues. And two sides are uh, fighting against each other. Therefore. Uh, we believe that this uh, grain deal uh, could be a um, basis for a comprehensive uh, ceasefire and peace plan and lasting peace in our region. And uh, Turkey has been spending tremendous uh, efforts, thanks to, the, thanks to the leadership of President Erdogan, from the beginning of the war. And we will continue uh, our efforts uh, to end this world, and we need the support of international community to end the war. Thank you.